Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a kind of Enrico Sanghiano scent shot that you can find in, that in a lot of his production, uh, this kind of song, you know, this kind of scent very like this one, alright, you can find as well this in this production, and I've tried to recreate all right all right so i try to recreate this kind of scent shot that he used a lot in this production always he's kind of making variation of the same kind of sound but they are sounding really really interesting all right so how i've done just let's create midi rack i'm just gonna get rid of this I keep the EQ in case and I'm gonna use analog and I'm gonna put a reverb oh sorry just by the reverb it's just to don't you send to don't make you send to make you send sound less dry I'm just gonna put it less reverb okay. all right so how to get that sound so first let's get rid of this oscillator too. The main things is to use square form. Alright. Alright, now we start to get something, but the only thing is you need to modify the pulse width and to put 100 percent Now I think you start to think where we are going. Then that's it for the oscillator one, and then let's go to the filter. You need the low pass filter 24 dB per octave. Put down the filter. All right, and there is the envelope which is mod modulate the filter. You can leave around four. It's fine. Just we don't want any sustain because it's a short sound, so it has to be percussive and short. Then. Put a little bit the cutoff, and that's not bad. Just I'm gonna put a bit more release. And the thing is, you need to emphasize a little bit this effect. Let's put a little bit of resonance, just not too much. We don't want to sound it like acid sound. All right, and that's it. We got something similar. The rest is just you need to add some distortion to make it more crunchy, give some harmonics, just a little bit of drive up, turn a little bit like this, and then a bit of distortion. I think it's too much drive, yeah, much better. Uh, add some saturation as well. Right, basic settings, eh? just to give. And now, a good thing to do is just put a low yeah, high pass filter, sorry, put a look at just to get rid of this low frequency we don't want because otherwise, you're gonna just fucked up your mix with the kick and the bass, and it's gonna be too many elements in the low end so you could cut off you can even emphasize this a little bit with the cue and yeah i like to put a little bit low pass filter just a little bit to to don't make it too shiny and here we go we have our sound i think we are pretty close So let's have a look what is inside the rack. Um, so we got analog with the same parameter that I've just shown you. All right, you have the cutoff, which is controlling the filter, the filter envelope, which is controlling the amount 
of envelope modulation. Uh, you got the attack to control the, if you want more swappy sound. Like the astral one is more like with a slow attack. If you want percussive, short attack. GK if you want very plucky sound. Or if you want something more long. Anyway, as I said, the sustain has to be down because we want something percussive. We don't want a long lead. Then you have the accent macro, which is basically controlling the LFO uh, with a tri uh, it's tri triangle, but it's actually a sort of because when you put usually by default it's like this, so it's a triangle. But if you put the width at one hundred percent, he become it's become a sort of, and it's just now the LFO is. I map it is as well control sorry controlling uh, the filter right there so it's like making a kind of emphasis of the effect. You have bright which is controlling the corpus. Uh, like if you've seen my previous video, you know I used this F this effect a lot. I think I just changed, it's the same preset, I just sent plate to Mambran just to give some harmonics and then very important as I showed you before some overdrives and saturation to really give some to really give the crunch that it needs and on the end just a limiter just to avoid things go wrong and then the liquor, as I told you before, and the reverb and some reverb. Uh, like this is a rag that I've done in a previous video. I can I'm gonna put the link in in the description. And you got your sound. Just like that. And then after you can just Just trick how you want, and I think that's it. So I hope guys you like this uh, this instrument rack. Uh, if you have any idea that I could do like any scent in specific sound you want me to try to recreate, uh, just leave a comment, say me which song is and which part of the song you want me to try to recreate. Do not hesitate to like the video, subscribe, share. I hope you like it and see you in two weeks, guys. Bye.